little clamp crochet. I have a bit of a project this afternoon, nothing to do with yarn for once. It's a bit of hand sewing, like tacking, and then I'm going to use the sewing, medium sewing machine. There's other videos on my YouTube channel, I'll link those below for that. Here in the UK, even though our windows do have blinds front and back, upstairs it's slightly different. But for extra privacy, these nets um, are put on windows. Now, because I have got in this house very wide windows, here is five and a half metres in front of me. And you measure your window and you double it. And the drop is not the full length of the net. So this net is 54 inches drop. So I'm having to take off some at the top because the scalloped edge at the bottom, as you can see, yeah, I don't want it trailing on the windowsill. I just want it either touching or just above. The, as I said, this is 54 drop. I'm having to take some off the top here, which is fine. It's no big deal. I've done it before. The previous ones last week, I took them down to wash. We've had them up quite a few years. I took them out of the wash and there was holes in them. I'm used to sewing, hand sewing and machine sewing. I'll take you along with what I'm doing. So far, I'm going to show you what I've done. I'm just making sure I don't lose any of these pins because I have done so in the past to my husband's displeasure. Oops, a daisy, you can't see it now. What I've done, what I've done is I've measured the length of what I want, which is 51 inches. Measured from the bottom, you know, I showed you the scallop bottom, measure from the lowest point, not into that dip, to 51. I've done that all the way along this five and a half meters. Because it's not going to be seen, I marked it with a bit of a biro on the mark I wanted. And I've turned down all the way, I did it this morning, to the marks, 51 inches what I require from the rod that will hold up this net at the window. What I'm going to do is, I've pinned so far, I've put extra pins in. And if anybody's done nets, they come out easy. So I've, I'm going to have to really be careful with these pins. What you will need to do tacking and tacking is to hold so instead of keeping pins you can do this straight to the machine but as it's a midi machine i don't want to do this and i do enjoy i don't mind taking the extra time tacking a material down a hem or anything and then i don't have to focus on the pins that's why i do it use a contrast color so black would be perfect. I have the odd other colours, but black will be better on white, I think. I'm not going to lose that tack then when I come to cut it or pull it out when I've used the white. So you will need your thread and your needle. I'll thread my needle and cut so much of the thread off and I'll come back before I start. I've threaded my needle. Start at whichever end you wish to do. When I, because my rod, I will have to measure it in a minute. What I'm going to do that will thread through here, that the because um, it is a solid rod that will hold on, it's extendable because it's a very wide window. But sometimes here in the UK we use a wire, like a coat of plastic wire, and it has a little hook on each end and you put a screw in your win uh, window frame and you, you pull it taut. You don't have it the exact width of the window, you pull it taut so it will stay up. And like this big window we have, we've got one upstairs as well, in the middle we have a, um, how do I describe it? It's like a little hook that will hold the middle of the rod up. Or the wire because otherwise it will sag in the middle because it's so wide 
I'm going to tack about an inch down and then I can go when I when I um go past each pin I can take it out and I'm not going to tie a knot in here and you just use long stitches sorry you can't see I'll show you when I've there you go just use long stitches make sure your thread doesn't come out you can tie a knot if you like but then when I keep, come to take it out it'll just pull out Some people this may seem a lot of hard work, but for me, time to sit down, I put some music on or a channel I like to listen to on the YouTube. As I've because what I've found is when I crochet you can't watch something. So I listen to a lot of films, programmes, documentaries rarely see what's going on can you see that's why you use contrast color you do again you don't have to this is just how i've done things over the years so you can make your stitches quite big you can use this on a machine you can do this kind of thing on a machine as well just get the widest sorry the longest depending on how you look at it the longest stitch on your machine because then you can pull your thread out but ideally I was taught at school to do tacking by hand and as I said I have a midi sewing machine and I have run over the pins a few times and it's not good it makes you clunk it actually vibrates on the desk where I work so I don't want to do that and bust a machine. I know they're not expensive to buy, to rebuy it, but I don't want to be doing that either. Now I've gone quite a ways. Oops. Now I know that's tacked in, so I can take these pins out and make sure they go in the, oops, a daisy, the box, or if you have a pin cushion. I do sell those on my Etsy shop, by the way. I'll leave a link in the description box. I'll go all the way along and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. All tacked, like that, all the way along. And I've just worked out, I need to let the this is what we're going to put it up with. You see, can't put it all on camera, but it's kind of, it's about half inch in diameter rod, but it, because it's an extendable one, you see how long it goes. It, it has this join that goes in and out. So one bit's narrower. If you ever use one of these, don't go on the narrow part. Do the thickest part, because obviously it's got to go inside to extend. And measure from there and do a little bit of an overkill what I do is I've just had it partly through the tacking area so this is where the rod's going to go at this edge and then I've measured as it was in about an inch so if I go about one inch from that edge this is the top edge go about one inch and I'm going to mark all the way along and then I'll take you onto the sewing machine and I'm going to sew the um, the join. Welcome back. I have the machine on, plugged in, ready, loaded, ready to go. Um, the whole of the five meters is prepped and ready. I'll be a while. just for little projects like this because this would take me a long time to do by hand which you can do 
but I would be willing to do five and a half meters by hand. When I stop, no matter what I'm doing, unless I'm finishing, I always make sure my needle's down because I've come unstuck sometimes. Um, if the needle's not in the material, I have found, even if I'm just taking a pin out, I can end up moving the material. So I've always made sure I always drop my needle into the material. Yeah, that's fine. The tension is good. It's not puckering at the back. You won't be able to see it on here. There's no puckering on the back and it's not pulling. Um, puckering is when it pulls, I mean, it's not like, um, it's not too loose. It seems okay. So that's on the number four on this MIDI machine. And this is for nets. They're quite thick nets. They're not very fine. You know, the thickness of it is quite thick. Um, I'm not having to pull it through neither. It's, it's working out really well, which I'm glad about. Because it's not, it's not something I've... I relish doing is doing nets. So that's how the machine is sewing the net. I'll finish it off off camera and I'll show you the net when it's finished and what I'm going to do next. This is what five and a half meters looks like. So there you go, five and a half meters still has its tacking, stitching, the black, and then just below that is the sewing line. What I will do is, I'm going to pull the tacking out now, what you will, what you can use is a quick unpick. Just gently pull your, this is why I didn't put a knot at the end. And just pull it, and gather. This is what you can use tacking stitches for as well, to make gathers in material. So I can feel this is coming out because I didn't touch it at the other end neither. There you go. You can buy cheap thread, thread for doing that, but I use Gutterman um, from the machine. So I've always got Gutterman in, I don't use cheap. And what I'm going to do next is this is the new hole where the rod's going to go, and that's excess. And from before, I don't want to have that on. So I'm going to use my pinking shears and just cut slowly, because I don't want to cut through the net. Just cut. Whoops. The excess off. That's why I'm lifting it like this and do it slowly so you don't cut anything you shouldn't and go all the way along. So you can do your pulling out your thread first, it's up to you how you do it and um, I'll see you when I've finished both these things I need to do. And then I'll show you the net. All done. I've cut all this off. That's now rubbish. And as you can see, this is the right side facing. And there's the new hole for the for this to go in, the rod to go in. And that's as simple as now this is gonna be a bit awkward. And I always put the um, heaviest end in, end in first, so that's the widest part. And then you literally just thread on. And that's as simple as it is. This is easier than a wire, 
I do use wires on the rest of on some of the bedroom windows. Um, the narrower I find, the easier. But for wider windows, you can have, you get these adjustable. There you go. So that's all on there. You get these adjustable rods. And I think that window. What did I measure it at? Hundred and three. Hundred and one. Hundred and three. Wide. So when you buy a net like this, you double it. The lady calculated that for me. So there you go. Obviously this is gathered a lot. So I don't want it to... That's generally how it is. And I like this pattern because apart from the scallop at the bottom, you have kind of the flower and then it thins out. The pattern is, is really dense at the bottom and then I uh, like it going thinner at the top. And that's why, again, I do like that at the bottom. I couldn't really take it up at the bottom. I just did it at the top. So there you go, how I take up my nets. I hope that was helpful. Maybe you will do that. It does have a nice... Um, effect through the window that's obviously the blind that's causing that on the carpet but it does have a nice effect and it is nice to have some new new um, window dressing well, there you go let's look at the window now see how it's nearly there isn't much plastic there so I, I haven't got much of a a lip to go on so I think it's less than an inch so I uh, just did it to, not touching the bottom but just so like I said we have privacy now which is nice but it still lets the light in anyway that's it from me today bears at Planet Crochet hopefully I'll get through some yarn and do what I normally do that's creating different things if you want to know more about what I do with my yarn and a hook, go over to my Instagram page and you'll see my makes on there. But for me today, Bev at Planet Crochet, I'll catch you on another video. Bye for now.